Hey everybody, welcome to the Periscope Room. This is Ryan Lestrange, author, revivalist, co-founder of AwakeningTV.com. Uh, and I'm coming to you live from outside of Phoenix, Arizona. I am in the car, but I am not driving. I'm not moving. I've had several messages from people about periscoping and all that stuff while you're driving. I'm not moving, though I'm in the car. I just uh, finished a meeting with a leader here. And I want to share with you what I believe is a key thought that's going to bring some liberty to you. If you're a leader and you know other leaders, share this Periscope right now. I believe it's going to be very, very key. Uh, welcome, everybody. Thanks for all the nice words coming in. Temple, Texas. Hey, you know, I love to start my Periscopes hearing who's on and where you guys are from. And I'm close to a million hearts. If you could give lots of hearts during this Periscope, we might break it. Canada in the house. Welcome, Canada. Virginia. Gary, Indiana here. Welcome, Gary, Indiana. Good to have you. Mobile. Colorado, New York, Alabama. Uh, Ryan, thank you for all your advice. You're welcome. Germany, wow, great to have Germany. Philly in the house. Galax, Vero Beach, Houston, Dallas, Maryland, New York, SoCal. Lots of great people here. Lima, Peru, uh, Texas, Ann Arbor. So listen, I was preaching at an apostolic ministry uh, about a week ago. And the Lord spoke to me about the leader of that ministry. And he said that the leader had crossed over and transitioned. And the scripture I was thinking about is Genesis 12, where God speaks to Abraham. And God says, Abraham, I'm going to send you to land. I'll show you. The Lord tells Abraham to step out. And Abraham doesn't even know where he's going. And Abraham steps out. And the Lord says to Abraham, you're going to have to leave behind. Hey, UK, good to have you. You're going to have to leave behind those that are familiar to you. You're going to have to leave behind those that have been navigating this portion of the journey with you. And the Lord spoke to me about this particular apostle who I was preaching for. And he said, listen, some people could not go with you. It wasn't that they did not want to go with you. It was that they didn't have a revelation of where you are going. They didn't have a grid or a point of reference for where you are going. When we receive revelation, revelation unlocks faith. And faith empowers us to pursue. So many of us are on a journey in our lives as leaders. We're going somewhere God's taking us, but people cannot go with us if they don't have that revelation. Now, one of our jobs as leaders is to share that revelation. But this is what I want you to hear, because this really helped me when the Lord spoke this to me. That we as leaders often get hurt. We often get offended because people aren't going with us. Because people we thought were a part of our lives. They were a part of our journey. They didn't go to the next level with us. And I know myself, I've been wounded by those experiences. But here's what I want you to see. A lot of those people wanted to go with you. They couldn't because they did not have the revelation of where you're going. And so part of the new season is that some are shed from you and can't go with you. Someone says, what about family? Well, family have a different level of covenant with you that they're supposed to be a part of some level of your life forever. But some family members have difficulty inheriting spiritual promises with you. And so you have to create a separation where they're your family and you're in covenant as family, but you're not necessarily in agreement spiritually. That's a very difficult path to navigate, but that happens. And so really what I want to say to you as leaders is this. Some could not go with you. And so you've been hurt because they didn't go with you. And it felt personal, but it wasn't personal. It was because they didn't have the grid for where you're going. So what you need to do as a leader is get healing to release them to the Lord and begin to embrace the new ones God's bringing to you. Someone said, can you pray for healing for the leaders? Yes, I will. So this is in essence what I wanted to say to you, okay? Some did not have the revelation of where you're going. And as you go further, some will not have the revelation. I believe God spoke to Abram and said, listen, Abram, for you to go where you're going, not everybody's going to go with you. So part of new seasons is new relationship. And unfortunately, it's sometimes the shedding of people from a last relationship. And understand this, there are two kinds of people in your life, those with you for a season and those with you for the long haul, okay? And there will be always those two levels of relationship. But what I want to summarize this with, and then we'll pray and, and we'll have questions and answers. I want to summarize this with, I believe there's a real healing word for us right now. That some could not go 
It wasn't that they were mad at us or didn't want to go. They did not have the grid for where we were going. They did not have the revelation, guys. And so we need to accept that. We need to get out of being stuck in the quicksand of woundedness and hurts and bitterness. And we need to embrace the people that God has placed in our lives now. And those people are going to go with us, some for a season, some for the long haul. But God is with us and we are journeying and we must be brave like Abram, embrace the vision, and God will bring the right people for that vision. Amen? So that's what we need to embrace. So I want to pray for you, and then I'll be happy to answer questions. Lord, I thank you for my friends that have joined this in the name of Jesus. I thank you for healing right now. And those that are wounded by betrayal, I pray for healing for them in the name of Jesus. Those that are wounded by abandonment, some of you leaders have a sense of abandonment that people that prophesied over you, that spoke into you, that we're going to walk with you, left you. I decree healing over you. Lord Jesus, I ask you for supernatural winds of healing right now in Jesus' name. Some of you had leaders that you thought were with you for the long haul, and they haven't been. I speak healing over you today in Jesus' name. I send the healing word. And Father, help us to embrace the gift of today. I just feel in my spirit, let go of those that abandon you. Let go of that past season and embrace the gift gift that is today. I speak right now a revelation over that in Jesus' name that you will embrace the gift that is today. And I speak healing over your heart today. And I speak encouragement in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I'm going to pause for a moment for quick questions. If you're just joining me, I'm Ryan Lestrange, revivalist, author, co-founder of AwakeningTV.com. Welcome to my Periscope room and thank you for being here. Please feel free to message me or email info at RyanLestrange.com. Um, Floodgate says, wow, we had this conversation last night. Well, then this is confirmation. The Bible said, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every word be established. Amen. Thank you for this word. May God bless you in all you do. Amen. Uh, some are blocking due to a spirit of control. Well, we just break that spirit of control off your life in Jesus' name that you find your tribe and move forward. New breed revival, long haul. Amen. We're getting ready. Uh, that's great. Need to talk more. Amen. Pastor TJ, send me a message, man. I miss you. What do you do when there are no spiritual gifts being used in church because no one understands? I say this over and over, but you may have to find another place to plant yourself. Hey from Phoenix. Hey, Phoenix. I'm uh, just outside of Phoenix now. I've had a wonderful time. Feel a real synergy of the Holy Spirit in this region. And I'm excited to come back and do more here. Guys, we are planning a New Breed Revivalist gathering October 22nd through the 24th in Virginia. Uh, an area that touches five states, Kentucky, North Carolina. Make plans to be with us. It's going to be on fire. Jennifer LeClaire, Jojo Dawson and I. How do you handle someone that admires you privately but publicly acts like they don't honor you? You know, the two should go together, public and private. So I would have a talk with them and see if you can get it resolved that way. And if not, you may have to disconnect. How about when leaders shift from the vision, get offended when God removes those that were with them? Yeah, it's hard because we have different seasons and sometimes leaders will shift, uh, you know, and, and some people will leave during a shift. And I've been through that and it's difficult and we need a lot of grace in that. It was definitely hard, but it was prophesied over me that God is doing me like he did Moses. Amen. Sherry Zell in North Carolina, I can't wait to connect with you more. I saw your post there. I believe North Carolina is a kingdom state where God has great things. Where in Arizona are you? I just finished some meetings outside of Phoenix and then up north in Williams, and I'm flying out of the Phoenix airport tomorrow. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate you being with me. I hope this word blessed you. Share it with other people. Go follow me on Facebook at facebook.com slash Ryanless. Strange Ministries and make plans to be with us uh, the 22nd through the 24th of October. I will be periscoping again soon. God bless you guys and I appreciate you very much. Have an awesome day. Thank you.